Hey y'all, it's me again. So this evening I decided we was gonna do some blueberry biscuits. Um, we are not doing blueberry biscuits to put them in the oven. We are doing blueberry biscuits to freeze so you can take them out whenever you would like. So you can take one out in the mornings or you can take a whole dozen out. So um, what you will need, you will need flour, buttermilk, sugar, butter or margarine, either or, salt, and blueberries. If you do not want to use blueberries, you can use raspberries or blackberries or even strawberries. Strawberries, but you have to cut them up real small. So this is basically for any fruit other than bananas. It does not work with bananas. I'm just throwing that out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our large bowl. We're going to mix all of our dry ingredients. So we're going to have two cups of flour. A third a cup of sugar and just a little bit of salt like a pinch of salt not a whole lot mix all that up All right, once you get that mixed up, you want to put your buttermilk in, which is a cup and a quarter of buttermilk. Now, if you're like me, you normally don't have buttermilk lying around, that's fine. To make homemade buttermilk, all you need is any type of milk. It can be whole milk, skin milk, almond milk, any, any, any type of milk. And you pour a cup to one tablespoon of either lemon juice vinegar and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes in the refrigerator or on the counter and it turns into buttermilk. I had to make some last night because I ran out. So this is homemade buttermilk. Like I said, you're going to use a cup and a quarter. Kind of mix that up a little bit. This dough will be very sticky. That's the way it's supposed to be. You want to make sure you flour your hands really good when you touch it. like it's supposed to. Mine's a little bit too watery. As you can see, I just added a little flour because mine is still a little bit kind of, I don't know, too watery. Well, it's not water, it's milk, but it's supposed to be a little bit firmer than what it was. Not much, though. All right, so after you get that mixed up, you can take your fresh blueberries. You can use froze if that's all you have. Just make sure you thaw them out before you put them in. I go and pour them in there and fold them. In your mixture. Set that over there to the side and get your flour. We don't have to roll them out. Too much flour is not going to hurt nothing. Take your dough and pour it on your flour. We spread some on the top. And 
You sit here and take it and knead it. Knead it for a few minutes and then we're going to add the butter to it. Y'all sticky? Now that those trying to get in order. Once you can get the dough to where you can kind of maneuver it a little bit better, you're going to add your butter. What I do. I put some a little bit everywhere. And then you're going to knead your butter in your dough. You cannot knead these too much to make them hard as concrete. Because you know some breads, when you knead too much, you handle it too much, they'll be hard as concrete. Not this. Give it one, got a little sprinkle on top. Roll it out. You want to roll it out about an eighth of an inch thick. It ain't got to be exact either, y'all. All right, so you say take a biscuit cutter to cut them. I use a glass, like a regular drink of glass. You can see I have my freezer paper sitting over here. So you're just going to take them and just go around. Don't stack them on one top of one another. Just set them side by side, about the length of a, the width, I'm sorry, of a one gallon Ziploc bag. Because the way I do mine is I put them in here on freezer paper. And I also put them in a Ziploc bag, kind of a double protector.
so they don't get frostbite. Three wide. And these were last up to about three months in the um, freezer. And that, my friends, is how you prepare biscuits to freeze so you can pull them out any morning that you want some biscuits made. Like I said, they are good in the freezer for about three months. They would probably last longer, but I personally wouldn't eat them because they wouldn't have the flavor would be gone out of them and they would taste freezer burnt everything else. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I lied. It might help if I would tell y'all how to bake it, huh? It's been a long Monday, y'all. I'm sorry. So what you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven for, for 450 degrees. And you just place them on a regular cookie sheet or pizza pan or any type of pan, really. And you bake them 7 to 12 minutes or until the top is a golden brown. And again, I do apologize that I not tell y'all that earlier. So on that note, now I will let y'all have a good evening. And I'll see y'all one day next week. Goodbye.